everybody so today is a really exciting day well during this video i'm doing a little um candle haul i got it during the sale that they were having for the single wicks or whatever for bath and body works but the day i'm recording this um which i won't be putting this video up until friday today is currently memorial day which is monday but um you guys, the sale today is amazing. I have placed four orders. <laughs> so, just be ready for that. And also, most of them are candles. So, let's just hope they didn't break like one of the candles that came in my single wick box did. Because it never fails. Um, like no matter what um a candle always has to break when i order candles I'm like yeah i could go in store but like there's also online exclusive candles and also with the deal today no ma'am i'm getting all the online exclusive candles and we're having a blast so yeah if y'all didn't get that deal that deal is better than semi annual sale deal better than candle day deal i don't care y'all should have got candles then y'all should have y'all need to i mean i can't even say y'all need to because even though today is the day of the day and i'll be posting that on friday i'm really sorry for y'all that didn't catch these candles because um i spent which i was gonna make a video to post today but I decided not to because it would really be like a two minute video like hey do this and there's already youtubers that do that and i watch them so i figured y'all would see them before y'all see me so but yeah anyways um i literally spent ten dollars and 16 cents after tax on each candle yeah yeah, I spent $243 and I got 24 candles. Deal of a still, I'm trying to tell you. 24 candles? What? <laughs> yes, I had a blast today. Also got some body care um, just because like some scents are being discontinued and whatnot. And um, what else? Oh, and like the ones, like the new sprays with the straws going down, those will not be under 50% off during the semi annual sale. If they do, I will be surprised. So I got everything I needed to get for the most part today. I have a list of everything I'm getting during Bath and Body Works semi annual sale, but I have a lot already. Now I'm really waiting for Halloween. <laughs> like we done skip semi annual sale pretty much for just today because the prices were phenomenal and nothing else was better but anyways we're gonna get off of that but I just wanted to give y'all a little update because I already have a video scheduled for the 9th I think Friday the 9th but every video after that will probably be back in Body Works until fall um, for the most part, but I actually know I'm lying to you because I have a lot of videos coming um, Of a lot of different things um, Because I have ordered a lot of different things Because I'm a shopaholic and that's just what happened but For the most part it's gonna be that and body works and Victoria's Secret I forgot to add them in because I will be shopping their semi annual sale this year to the T hopefully I don't know what like what happened but like last year during the semi-annual sale like all the pink scents like Victoria's Secret pink all their scents like the good ones weren't even on the website and now they don't took them off the website again and I'm like what is what is going on what is going on actually because it makes me not want to spend money at Victoria's Secret because I'm not paying full price during the year you know and I know they have like occasional sales but like this is my second year being into like the semi annual sales or whatever so 
Maybe that's just what they do every year and they just stop selling those scents before summertime, I guess. I don't know, but I think it's weird and I don't understand and it really makes me not want to shop with them. But yeah. So anyways, we're about to get into this haul. Real quick though, I do want to tell y'all the deals if y'all missed out on them just because I feel like y'all should know what y'all missed out on because it's really, this is really the best deal ever, okay? So anyways, the overall sale, like thing that they got going on that you're going to layer these other sales with is 30 off 100, which is 30% off, which means if you get $100 worth of stuff, you're going to be spending $70, right? Plus free shipping, okay? And then the deals that they got that you need to layer these deals with, but they also got 10 off 40, which is 25% off, and then five off 25, which is 20% off. But no, we went go big or go home. You get the 30% off, anyways, with the free shipping. But yeah, and then I did the buy one, get one free candles, um, because that counts for all the candles. No matter which candle you get, it's buy one, get one free. Now, of course, the cheapest, of course, the cheapest one is the free candle, but like, if all the candles are $26.95 or whatever, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. So anyways, and then the body care, mist. Travel size is $3.75, which I don't recommend getting the travel size. Um, because if I remember correctly, they get down to like one or two dollars. Like $1.95, $2.95 during the semi-annual sales. So I don't recommend getting them today. But um I did get a couple though, because I wanted to try a couple scents before I bought the full size one, which really wouldn't really make a difference because it's only $2 difference today. Because the full size is $5.75. And with the 30% off, you know what I'm saying? So but actually no, I'm thinking about it. I should have got the full size. But it's fine. We're not worried about it. Anyways. Let's get into this video. I'm about to do a haul of all my single wicks and review them and tell you if they're good or not. So you can also know if you should get these during the semi-annual sale and candle day. So, yeah. So first, I just wanna tell y'all that like, so now they have like a new like signature candle where it's like, I can't remember what these things are called. Does it say it on here? No, no, I don't do that. Well, anyways, these are eight ounces, and then the ones that are like the mason jars, they are seven ounces. So these are slightly bigger than um, the regular single week ones, and I like it better because the top just pops off. But anyways, I also got all these candles to try them out to see what I wanted during the semi annual sale, which I'm really glad I got these because. It helped me decide which candles I was getting today. So, yeah. But let's get into this. So, first up, we got Love Always Wins, which is a part of their Pride collection, which I wish it would focus. Anyways. <sighs> she smells so good. And I really wish I would have thought about this candle um during today's sale by the way we're still on memorial day today is memorial day sorry i'm talking about today's sale um memorial day sale um because i got the small spray because i was like i don't really know if i want the big spray but this actually really smells really good and i really wish i would have got the big spray because it smells so good it's just so good um the Fragrance notes is golden star fruit, fresh coconut water, cedar wood heart, cedar wood heart. Okay, well, there's that. But yeah, I really wish I got the big spray. I'm so upset with myself. I'm really tempted to make another order, but I can't. Refrain yourself, Samantha. Refrain yourself. So we also got Coco Paradise, which I think this was a scent last year. I really don't remember, but I didn't get it for whatever reason. And it smells so good. It's like the beach, like for real. 
like the beach. I love anything coconut. Like coconut is like my scent. Anything with coconut in it is like for me. <sighs> and she smells so good. She is the bestest. Um, it's salted coconut mono, mone, mone. I don't know. Sugared neroli and bronze sandalwood. So definitely recommend her. Grab you one. Um, so I grouped these two together because pink apple punch and orange pineapple punch. These two are my everything, like everything. Um, they smell great. They're like my favorite candles. Oh my gosh. It's just beautiful. Like, I've never smelled anything better in my life. You guys, this is the pink apple punch, and it's literally the best smelling candle on this planet. And I wish, I wish they would make it into body care. If they made it into body care, I don't need no other body care, actually. Pink apple punch. No. Y'all just don't understand. Y'all just don't understand. It's the greatest. So, orange pineapple punch. Is also amazing, but pink apple punch beats it for real. If y'all ever smell the pink apple punch and like compare it with the orange pineapple punch, you will understand. See, this here is like a fresh pineapple being cut open, and that's what it smells like. And I love the smell of that. Oh, it's tart orange juice, sweet pineapples, vanilla sugar cane. See, you don't smell none of that, but freshly cut open pineapples. That's amazing. I don't remember if I read out the scent notes on the pink apple punch, but it is crisp apples, sun kissed melon, and sugar. Ugh. Wow, why can I never talk when I have this freaking camera in front of my face? Anyways, sugar crystals. You guys. I love it. So next up we got beach weather, which also smells good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. But it gives me a very homey, cleaning up the house vibe kind of weird but like it gives me like we're at the beach and I'm cleaning up the beach house like <sighs> she is just amazing I swear if I could own Bath and Body Works just for the candles just to get free candles I don't even care about everything else Candles are literally everything to me. So, the fragrance notes is sun-dried sandalwood, island coconut, breezy palm trees, and crashing waves, which, honestly, I'm trying to see. Maybe it's the sandalwood that's giving me like clean and homesy. And then the island coconut for sure is giving me the beach. trees and the waves I just don't know how they pack all that into one candle especially with a little candle like this what? it's just oh, sorry sorry I'm a little goofy but honestly I'm really serious like these candles are everything I really did a good selection I really never had any of these candles except for the basic one basic ones which I'm leaving for last but Out of all these, I've only had the pink apple punch and the orange. Did I have the orange pineapple punch? I don't think I had that one actually. Um, and that's it. 
but that's it. I never got these other ones, so. We got ice dragon fruit tea. And she smells great. She honestly smells great. You smell a lot of the tea, but you also get the fruity sensation of fruit tea. So like, I would assume burning this candle, it's gonna smell like your brewing tea, like some fruit tea. Now, I'm not really sure what dragon fruit smells like in real life, cause I don't, I've never seen one, ate one, none of that. But this smells pretty good. This smells pretty good. Um, I did order a couple of these today. And I actually ordered a couple of a lot of these. Well, no, not a lot of these actually. I ordered a couple of the pink apple punch and a couple of the orange pineapple punch and a couple of these. And I ordered a Coco Paradise. And I really wish I got a beach leather because that one smells really good. Um, no, I really should have went on through all these candles instead of just going off of my brain when ordering candles today. Anyways, it's fine. But yes, this one I definitely recommend. The fragrance notes is tropical dragon fruit, vibrant green tea lemonade, and sweet coconut milk. What? Why does everything I like have coconut in it? I don't even smell the coconut in this. What? And green tea lemonade. Hmm. That kind of sounds good. I should try that in real life. Anyways, we got Cafe in Venice, which this one reminds me of one last year. It was like Cafe Paris, Paris Cafe, something like that. I don't know. And it was a mixture with another candle. It was like one of their mixed candles. That smelled really good. Um, but this is Cafe in Venice. And it smells like coffee and chocolate. It smells like a mocha latte, but it's hot. I don't even know what that is hot because I don't drink hot coffee, but yeah. It's rich roasted coffee, vanilla cream, and ground cinnamon. Maybe a cinnamon I'm smelling. Maybe it's the cinnamon and the vanilla mixed together making a chocolatey smell. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. It smells like coffee and chocolate. Anyways, there's that. Definitely recommend her. Um, Midnight Blue Citrus was one I'm scared. I was scared about ordering. Even now, the fragrance notes is juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. Anything that has like a freshy type of smell is really iffy with me all the time. Cause like, I like I like lemon smells, but I don't like like the lemon smells and the um you you know what I'm talking about. Like I can't stand that. So the fresh spring water was like. What is that gonna smell like with mango and citrus? I don't know. But, needless to say, this smells like a day. Just imagine you're like out picking fruit and the air is hitting your face and it's kind of a little chilly outside, but like it still has that warm breeze too. That is what this candle gives me. It gives me that. It gives me that. So, definitely recommend her. Um, and as far as the mango and the citrus coming out, I feel like the mango gives it a more warmer feel and then the citrus gives it the colder feel. Cause I don't know what the spring water is supposed to smell like, but maybe it's just supposed to water it down so anyways we got berry fruit punch which I should have included this with the other punches because they all have the same like center note and that is what gives me everything for the punch okay for the punch now this one is a little lighter on the scent like I can smell the punch 
but the dry, like the berry fruit, you really gotta breathe it in in order to find the berry. But the punch is there. The punch is there. Um, it's tropical berries, sweet pineapple, fresh juice, oranges, which I smell the pineapple. Don't really smell the oranges. But the punch, the punch is there. Now, let's see here. Sugared lemon zest. I have this new obsession with lemons this year. Don't really know the deal, but she smells great. She smells like those really, really, really sweet and sour um, lemon candies. Y'all know what I'm talking about? They're kind of old school. That's exactly what this smells like. Like those lemon candies that are kind of chewy, but not really. They're like a little hard, but a little chewy. The fragrance notes is tangy Sorrento lemons, bright lemon zest, and fresh sugar cane. And she smells so good. I mean, I could even say she smells kind of like lemonade, but lemonade don't smell that sweet. Like it's like a candy sweet, like so good, so good. Um. I got black cherry malo, which this is like my favorite scent. Like, I'm not gonna say favorite scent, but I'm gonna say one of my top scents because why is this candle so loose in here? It's literally falling out. That is not cute, that's my Rex. That is not cute at all, actually. No, that's my idea. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it won't even go all the way in there. That's not cute. But anyway, she smells so good. She smells like black cherry Kool-Aid, kind of. Kind of. She gives me more of a fancier black cherry Kool-Aid. But um, it's wild black cherries, velvety red wine, juicy red raspberries, and bright plum. Like if y'all have not tried black cherry malone, please go get y'all some. Cause easily one of my favorites. And lastly, we got champagne toast and gingham gorgeous. Um, champagne toast always smells marvelous. I love champagne toast, but champagne toast for some reason, even though it's a pretty like year round scent, for some reason, when I smell it, it gives me fall. Like, I love it in fall. I don't know why. It's not even a fall scent. It's not even near a fall scent, but it like gives me fall. Like I need to, I will burn my champagne toast candles in fall. Ooh, did I get a champagne toast candle today? Oh, and I had to make another order. Anyways, we got Gingham Gorgeous, which, I already reviewed this for the um, Mother's Day tote bag, but I wanted to get the single wick because these little new candles, I wanted to get just about every one that I know I'd like, which by the way, fun fact, I have never had a single wick candle from Bath & Body Works, ever. And, um, I'm about to see how long it lasts, and like, if anyone's curious, I'll do a video if y'all haven't tried a single wick either, because I normally just stick to the three wicks, because I got a three wick burning right now, and I burn them until they're gone. Like, when I light them, they're burnt until it's gone. Which, by the way, excuse the mess. I just realized I have a mess. But this is just how I live my life. I have my book bag here for school and I have all my notebooks right there and my Bible. So, yeah. And I mean, I'm in my bed most of the day doing schoolwork and stuff. So, like, the bed never really gets made up, made up. Like, I used to try to make it 
aesthetically pleasing, but nobody comes to my house, so no need for that. But that is the last of the candles, but I did get a single wick candle holder since I've never had a single wick candle. I didn't have a single wick candle holder. So I got her, it's kind of hard to see, but these are like white flowers and the rest is gold. And like the butterflies have like little white details and it's pretty cute. Oh, that one. Like, she's super cute. Oh my gosh. I'm about to pop one of these in here and burn them once that one's done burning because it's about to be done burning here in a second. But I also got a free gift and I got Pretty as a Peach in this place. I'm waiting for Sydney Annual Sale to get all the body um, lotions and stuff. But I've already been wearing this. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. As y'all can see. Um, but she just smelled too good to not wear it. I was gonna wait until this video, but <sighs> she smells great. She smells great. Um, I definitely recommend her. Um, the fragrance notes is blushing peach, jasmine, jasmine petals, white nectarine, apple blossoms, and sheer freesia, which. None of that sounds good except for peach. So I'm really surprised I like this. But she smells pretty good. She's more of a perfumey scent, I will say that, instead of like a sweet peachy scent, which I really want to try to find a sweet peachy scent. If anybody knows anywhere that has a sweet peachy scent, let me know. But yeah, and actually while we're on the video, I'm actually about to open up this broken candle because I didn't even try to fool with it. Because Bath and Body Works sent some that sheet of paper. Like if you ever ordered from Bath and Body Works, they normally send you a sheet of paper of everything that you ordered. Um, and so I, I don't really know which candle this is. And I didn't really look online to see what it was either because I just felt like that was too much. Um, ooh, you really shattered. I still haven't called them about this candle either, which I need to do that. But this one is... I think this is Butterfly. No, this is Butterfly. And it was one of the fancier candles. Rude. Anyways. Yeah, she is done for. I would show y'all this candle, but it's really tragic. And I'm sure y'all know what a busted candle looks like, or either don't care what a busted candle looks like. So either way, there is that. But it was butterfly, and I'm really upset. I'm gonna have to call them. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to call them for probably every other order I just ordered today. But if I can never get it on. A, a order with no broken candles ever but yeah I'm really talkative today I'm not really sure why so I'm sorry if I bore y'all but um yeah yeah so thank you for watching and if you made it this far please put a shopping bag emoji down in the comments like comment subscribe do all that great stuff subscribe if you want to see more of me and I feel like I'm getting more comfortable because I'm on TikTok like all the time now. Please go follow my TikTok too because you will see all the greatness that I do. Um, it's more than just this. I do little hauls on there too. Um, but YouTube is where I do my reviews and like try-ons and all that. I kind of have it organized in that way but also technically I do a haul too. Like I show you everything I get so but i also do like um you know just like my hair journey i'm trying to repair my hair and get my curls back and we're kind of getting there we're not as curly as we used to be but we're getting there and that's all that matters and you know i've been bleaching my hair for like a year and a half to two years and 
it's a long journey. I'm still trying to get platinum. My roots look crazy. It's like 50 shades of brown and blonde. So yeah, we're trying to get somewhere with my hair. And also just tried a bunch of different things. I also post my keto food on there sometimes. Funny videos sometimes. So just go check that out if you want to. I leave all my social media in the description down below. Um, and yeah, and like if you like this video. And if I helped y'all out deciding which candles y'all wanna get for the semi-annual show, or candle day, or today, or tomorrow, or whenever. Um, the pink apple punch you guys i'm telling y'all you'll need it but yeah thank y'all for watching and be prepared for the videos that i got coming because there's so many like so many like i really think i'm back into youtube into youtube now and i really ain't doing it for people to watch like obviously i'm posting a video for people to watch but like I'm really doing it to also track everything I do because I really enjoy looking back on my videos that I did last year and I'm like, oh my god, like, my um, thumbnail looks so better now. Like, I'm really learning how to do stuff and I don't know. This is just like a fun little journey I'm on with YouTube and TikTok, really. TikTok is more fun. It's more of like an instant pleasure, like oh I might get some comments might not but like it's like instant like it's either you blowing up today or you're not because like I've had videos get a lot of views not like super a lot but like a lot of views for me you know and I'm like yep that happened overnight I posted it went to sleep woke up boom I'm like oh well hello everyone yeah I'm glad y'all want to know about my hair so but yeah anyways I'm rambling today. I'm really sorry. I don't know. Maybe y'all like this. Maybe y'all like this better. Tell me which me y'all like better. The me that talks about everything or the me like in a previous video where I just am straight to the point like I got this. Smells good. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just in a good mood today. I don't know. So yeah. I really gotta go now. I'm just gapping y'all's ears off. But anyways, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever. Happy more Memorial Day. To anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I've said that about ten times now. Um, 